story time about how my boyfriend's best friend kissed me. Should I tell him? His best friend is a girl. Disclaimer is not my story time. It's not on Instagram. My boyfriend and I have only been dating for two weeks. Two weeks. We actually met a couple of months ago on a dating app. We went on several dates over the course of four months. And after that, he asked me to be his girlfriend. I said yes. While we were dating, I met a couple of his friends. One of them being his girl best friend. And she is by which I did know of. Okay, but here's the messed up thing. The day I met this girl, she was staring at me. Not just like staring at me a little bit. Hardcore staring. She even told my boyfriend that I was so attractive that he needed to take care of me because she could snatch me up. And she said this in front of me. My boyfriend thought it was hilarious and just laughed at her. And to be honest with you, even though, yes, she's a girl, she made me feel extremely uncomfortable. She would always compliment my body in front of everybody. She would comment on how my boobs are so big. We all went to the beach one time and she said, I quote, if your bikini top pops off, I don't mind, girl. I did not laugh. She even went up behind me and tried to untie my bikini. My boyfriend thought it was so funny. Part two is... Story time about how my boyfriend's best friend kissed me, should I tell him? And she's a girl. Disclaimer is not my story time, it's not on my Instagram. When she tried to untie my bikini top, I got really upset. I yelled at her, but my boyfriend thought it was funny. When my boyfriend and I got back to his apartment, I told him that his best friend made me really uncomfortable. And he said, you're being so stupid, she's just a girl. I said that didn't matter because she always made comments about my physical appearance and how she was going to steal me from him. He promised he would talk to her and tell her to lay off. But this did the exact opposite. The next day, I get a DM from her saying, so I heard I make you feel uncomfortable? I didn't respond to that and i showed it to my boyfriend my boyfriend just said don't worry about it just ignore her then she sent another message saying i'm sorry if i intimidate you i was so upset that i replied saying you definitely don't intimidate me you constantly objectify me and that's completely unacceptable then she sent me a poop emoji and that was it the next time i saw her i purposely did not even look her way this was at a party and there were tons of people but she managed to follow me around the whole night and asked me why i wasn't talking to her finally she grabbed me and kissed me part three is a Story time about how my boyfriend's best friend kissed me, should I tell him? And she's a girl. Disclaimer is not my story time, it's not on Instagram. During the party, she just kept following me around. She would ask me over and over why I wasn't talking to her, but of course I just kept ignoring her. I finally went over to the kitchen to grab a drink, and that's when she grabbed me, turns me around, and just puts her face on mine. She stuck her tongue all the way down my throat. It was disgusting. And she had a really strong hold on me, so I couldn't push her off right away. To tell you that we struggled is an understatement. And I finally got her off of my face after like 30 seconds. I pushed her so hard, she fell backwards. And I ran straight to my boyfriend and told him what happened. Thankfully, he was really upset with her and went straight to talk to her. Honestly, part of me thought that he was just going to take her side. We both went to the kitchen and he asked her what her problem was. That's when she told my boyfriend that she was convinced that I liked her. And that for some reason, I was just denying it because I wanted to play hard. By the way, she did have a few drinks, so I guess it could be that. I told her that she was actually hallucinating and that I did not have feelings for her. I also told her not to ever touch me again. My boyfriend told her not to come around anymore, but it doesn't stop there. He actually tried to kiss me again later on. Part four is up. Story time about how my boyfriend's best friend kissed me. Should I tell him? And she's a girl. Disclaimer is not my story time. It's not even on Instagram. She promised she wouldn't try to kiss me again, but she lied. Just a few days later, my boyfriend had forgiven her. She made up a whole story to him that she was depressed about another girl and that somehow I reminded her of the other girl. Then my boyfriend said, do you mind if she comes over? And I told him as long as she didn't try to touch me, everything would be fine. This time I was going to defend myself. Do you see where this is going? A few of my boyfriend's friends showed up and then she showed up last. And as soon as she saw me, she came over and tried to hug me. I told her hugging was not necessary for an apology that her words were fine. She then apologizes. Not two hours later, while everyone is in the backyard, I go to the kitchen. And she follows me again. This time she kissed me, but it was much quicker and I didn't have to push her off. Then she said, what are you going to run and tell your boyfriend again? Instead, I smacked her really, really hard. So hard, you could see my palm print on her face. Then she apologized and begged me not to tell my boyfriend. He's afraid of losing his friendship. And I actually did feel bad for her for a second, but I'm not sure anymore. Should I tell my boyfriend or should I keep this to myself? Bye. Story time about how my best friend walks around naked in front of my boyfriend. Disclaimers is not my story time and send me on Instagram. The bitch that used to be my best friend. Yeah, she's the worst person in the entire world. By the time I met her, my boyfriend and I had already been going out for six months. I met her through some friends and her and I got along really well. She was wild and crazy and she brought that wild and crazy side out of me. And at the time, it was something that I did need, but I didn't realize just how wild she was. Let me tell you what this girl was like. She was the type of girl that would try to bring up sex in every conversation. Like, no matter who we were talking to, she would always bring up sex she would always try to impress everyone about how much she knew about it and how much she needed sex all the time and sometimes i would ask her to not talk about it so much and her response to that was stopping such a prudy bitch my boyfriend and i decided to have all our friends over at my apartment for dinner since i had just met her i decided to invite her over this was the first time she was meeting my boyfriend and all of my friends and of course she proceeded to monopolize the entire conversation all night and all she talked about was sex then she went to the bathroom and took off her jacket she came out in her bra and shorts part two is 
story time about how my best friend walks around naked in front of my boyfriend. Disclaimer is not my story time. It's sending me on Instagram. That's when she came out of the bathroom in her bra and a pair of shorts. Mind you, we have a bunch of our friends over having dinner at my place. I get up from the table and I ask her what's up. That's when she says that it's way too hot in my apartment and that I needed to turn down the temperature. I told her I'd give her a t-shirt if she wanted to and she said no. I'm comfortable in my body and I don't care if people look at me. When I look around, I see everyone staring at her. Obviously, all the guys are like oogling her goodies, but all the girls that are there with their guys are instantly upset. That's when my boyfriend bursts out laughing and says, what's wrong with her? She just starts laughing maniacally at what my boyfriend said. Then she goes and sits down next to my boyfriend and starts joking with him. You might be thinking I'm so stupid for this, but I decided to let it go. Oh yeah, she's also the type of person that never wants to go home. That's when I had to be honest with her and I told her that she was making everyone uncomfortable. And I asked her to leave, which she did. A few days later, she comes over to my place so that we can get ready to go out. My boyfriend was going to go out with his friends and I was going to go out with her. Two seconds after she comes into my apartment, she walks out of the bathroom completely naked. And my boyfriend's just sitting there on the couch watching her. Part three is up. Story time about how my best friend walks around naked in front of my boyfriend. Disclaimer is not my story time. It's not on Instagram. That's when she comes out completely naked. You could see everything. Boobs, butt, and V. And my boyfriend is sitting on the couch. As she comes out of the bathroom, his jaw drops to the floor. Then she says to me, Oh my god, I couldn't find a towel. Sorry. She walks straight into the guest bedroom where she has her clothes. My boyfriend and I look at each other and I'm completely disgusted. He, on the other hand, thought it was hilarious, so he starts laughing. Then she comes out of the guest bedroom in panties and a bra. I mean, I guess at least she wasn't naked at this time that's when i tell her do you need help getting dressed or something she says oh no girl i'm just thirsty i'm gonna get something to drink so i said to her i'll get you something to drink you can go get dressed at this point i had had it but guess what this wasn't the last time a few weeks later i wanted to go to her place to get ready this time but then she insisted on coming over to mine instead that's when i got the feeling that she had done all of that to get my boyfriend's attention and i straight up told her are you just walking around naked at my place just because you want my boyfriend to see you of course she denied it she says he's cute but he's not that cute um what part four is up Story time about how my best friend walks around naked in front of my boyfriend. This claim is not my story time, it's on my Instagram. At this point, she had been naked in front of my boyfriend twice, but it wasn't the last time. She came over to pick me up one time and I told her to wait for me downstairs. Well, instead of waiting for me downstairs, she decided to come up to my apartment. While I was in the bedroom changing, my boyfriend let her in. That's when she comes straight into my bedroom without even knocking and says, Hey girl, do you have a dress I can wear? The dress she was wearing was absolutely perfect. I asked her why and she said that she didn't feel sexy enough. Without even me saying yes, she started raiding my closet. Then she pulls out a very expensive dress I had not even put on yet. My boyfriend was standing in the doorway just watching the whole thing go down. I look at my boyfriend and he just rolls his eyes at me. Then out of nowhere, she takes off her dress and she's completely naked underneath. He looks at my boyfriend and says, oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. My boyfriend turned around and walked away. I finally closed the door and confronted her about it. She told me that I'm a prude and that I needed to relax. I kicked her out and we haven't spoken since. She's been begging to talk to me and hang out. My boyfriend told me that if I felt uncomfortable around her, then for her not to come over. But he says that he's fine with her. His reaction also upset me too. What should I do? Story time about how I stole my mom's boyfriend. I'm 25 years old and my mom just turned 40. She was 15 years old when she had me, so she was a really young mom. So obviously when my mom and dad were teenagers, they got pregnant with me. My mom hadn't even graduated from high school when she had me. My dad at the time though was in college, so he was a lot older than her. Obviously, looking back at their relationship, I think it was totally inappropriate. I've never said this to my dad, but I'm definitely open about it with my mom. Luckily, my grandparents stepped in and helped them financially. So I grew up in a really nice house going to a good school. The problem is that my parents basically had to do whatever my grandparents wanted them to. So my dad really hated my mom's parents. When I turned 13, my parents got divorced. My dad basically told my mom that he did not want to be in this relationship anymore. He was sick of her parents and that he didn't even want to live in the city we were living in. This was really hard for me, but it was even harder for my mom. She was left alone raising me while my dad went and partied. He was reliving his youth again, but this time the way he wanted it to be. I truly believe this, but my mom denies it. I think she started harboring resent for me. The fact that she had to stay home with me and take care of me. She wanted to go out with guys and drink and party. But I was always in the way. Part two is a story time about how I stole my mom's boyfriend. I knew my mom resented me for having to take care of me instead of being able to go out with their friends and date men. When I turned 15, things started getting really difficult between me and my mom. My dad went off to New York, completely abandoned me and my mom, and went to live his dream. He wanted to be an actor, and he actually started getting successful at it. The good thing is, he started sending my mom a lot of money. This meant my grandparents weren't having to pay for everything, and it allowed my mom financial freedom from them, which meant she could do whatever she wanted. So instead of staying home with me, my mom decided to start going out. This actually made me really happy. This allowed us to have some space from each other and she was able to go and have fun. Our relationship got a lot better because my mom was just happier. She even got a new boyfriend. My grandparents hated it, but she was so much happier. Fast forward 10 years later. My mom and I are very close and we still live together. Two weeks before my 25th birthday, my boyfriend broke up with me. I caught him cheating on me with my best friend, which is a whole other story time. So if you guys want to hear that one, let me know. By the way, this is not my story time. I'm sending me on Instagram. My mom just started dating a new guy. This new guy was my age. Every time he would come over to be with my mom, he and I would just stare at each other. Part three is up.
Story time about how I stole my mom's boyfriend. Every time my mom's boyfriend would come over to visit her, he and I would just stare at each other. Like I said, he was my age and he and I got along really well. Now nothing happened and it's not like I was trying to do anything. My mom would talk about him all the time and I would tell her how happy I was for her because I really was. But before you jump into the comments to criticize me, remember that my boyfriend had just broken up with me because I caught him cheating with my best friend. It was a struggle to get out of bed every single day. I thought I was going to marry this man. My mom had an upcoming work trip and I knew that I was going to be alone. I told her that I was afraid of being alone and she said, well, I can have my boyfriend come over and take you out to dinner one day i said sure obviously not thinking anything would ever come of it so one day he asked me if i wanted to go to dinner and i said yes we were at dinner for like four hours and it felt like a first date we talked about so much stuff and we had so much in common we ended up having too many drinks and we both got a little drunk and when we got in his car we started making out then we went to my house and made out some more and then we did the dirty this only happened two days ago let me clarify i don't want him i want him to be with my mom but now he's telling me that he wants to be with me and my mom he's asking me to basically not tell my mom that we're hooking up and wants to stay with her what's should I do?